Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, uh, in this lecture, we are going to uh, drive the characteristic curves uh, in general in a general form of second order linear PDEs. And based on those characteristic curves, we are gonna take a um, deeper look into the classification of second order linear PDEs. And um, after we, we are gonna define actually what we meant before by the type of the PDEs that we discussed, like hyperbolic, uh, parabolic, or um, elliptic uh, type of uh, PDEs. Uh, and after that, we're gonna uh, go uh, and uh, show some features, some characteristics of uh, these uh, type of PDEs uh, more carefully. Okay, so first let's get started with uh, a general form of, uh, to find um, and drive general uh, characteristic curves in a uh, general form of uh, second order linear PDEs. So we, we seek to find characteristic curves in second order linear PDEs. So in general form, we have, so in general form, we can write a, a second order linear PDE as this A uh, partial U partial t square plus 2b partial u partial x partial t plus c u partial x square plus d partial u partial t plus e partial u partial x equals to r u which is a function uh, residual which is a function of u x and t Okay, so this is a general form of <coughs> second order uh, linear PDEs. <coughs> and now uh, we, we convert this into, in order to find the characteristics into, uh, in this general form, uh, we convert, convert this second order PDE to a system of first order equations. So we convert this into a system of first order equations and after that uh, we, we will find the characteristic curves uh, in this equation, okay? So let, so we define uh, new variables, we define f, let f be partial u, partial t, and g, define it as partial u, partial x. Okay, so this is how uh, we define uh, F and G. And then what I want to do is
use typical differential expressions. So the differential expressions that we use, for example, for the uh, advective transport equation, we are going to use a similar technique here. Expressions for which variables u, f, and g. Okay, so let's first write it for u. So for u partial u partial t can be written as du over dt minus dx over dt partial u partial x. So if you don't remember this, just go to the previous lectures and um, look how we uh, drive this. This is typical differential expressions. And similarly, I can write this for f and g. So let's first write it for f. So for f, I can write it partial f partial t equals to df over dt minus dx over dt partial f partial x. And for g, I can write the similar expression partial g partial t equals to dg over dt minus dx over dt partial g partial x. Okay. Now that I have this, uh, I can substitute these into the I can substitute these into uh, the original equation that we had here. So I will just substitute it here. Okay. So let me show it. Just substitute this here. And what we get is this. So I try to write it from here. So the first term is A. So we have A DF over DT minus DX over DT partial F partial x. So the first term is what? The first term is partial u over partial t square, which is going to be uh, partial f partial t, right? And we have partial f partial t here. So this is actually partial f partial t, which is here, right? And partial f partial, uh, and this equals to, just uh, so you know, from the definition, it is this, right? This is from the definition. And so this is the first term that we have. So uh, just to show you again, uh, this is going to be just this term, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go to the second term. So the second term we have is plus b uh, partial u partial x partial t. So uh, I'm going to write it as we have partial uh, f is just uh, uh, partial u partial t over partial u, partial u over partial t. So I'm just I just need to take a derivative of f with respect to x. So I just write one b as that. So I'm gonna write it plus b 
partial f partial x and for the second b i'm gonna write it as partial g partial over partial t it's because you see this is the partial u over partial x so if i just take uh just as a side note here if i take partial g partial t this is gonna be what this is gonna be this and this equals to this term which is actually what i have here so this is what i have here right so i just i'm just gonna write partial g over partial t okay so and partial g over partial t we have it here we have defined it here so i'm just gonna write it that so we have plus b dg over dt minus dx over dt partial g over partial x and then we have the third term is uh partial u over partial x square so this is just partial g over partial x right based on our definition here right so this is a simple one so i'm gonna i'm just gonna write it plus c partial g over partial x and then the next term d uh, partial u partial t I'm just gonna use the different uh, differential expression here for that okay to be consistent with the other ones for this I'm gonna use this one okay so I will write D times du dt minus dx over dt partial u partial x plus the last term i wanna if you if you see i wanna write uh, everything in terms of partial u partial x and partial uh, partial f partial x and partial g partial x so the last term is e partial u partial x and this equals to r okay so i'm going to further rearrange the terms and write them in terms of uh, their derivative with respect to x so the first term i have is uh, i can write it as this for f so i'm just going to factor out uh, partial f over partial x so I am going to have uh, B minus A dx dt times partial F over partial X plus C minus B dx over dt partial G partial X plus E minus D dx over dt partial u partial x this equals to i take the other terms to the right hand side of the equation r minus a df over dt minus b dg over dt minus d du over dt okay so this is uh just uh, how i uh, rearranged the terms and manipulated them and so this is we name this as equation one
okay? So what you see here, we actually have converted the second order PDE, linear PDE, into a first order PDE, right? So this is a first order PDE. And the second uh, term that I need, I want to com convert this into a, a system of uh, linear second or uh, first order PDE. So that is my goal, a system of fir uh, first order uh, equations, right? So uh, this is, I have uh, the partial F partial X, partial G partial X, and partial U partial X, which are unknown. So I need two more equations for this, uh, to, to make this matrix. The second equation is gonna be DU. I'm just gonna use the definition of that. Partial U partial X is G, right? So this is just a definition uh, that I have here, right? So I'm gonna just use that. Uh, so this is going to be my uh, second equation. And then the third equation is going to be, I'm going to do it for partial, what is partial F? Partial X. So this equals to, so partial F partial X equals to partial G partial T, right? from the definitions I have here, right? If you look at them, and both of them are gonna be partial u over partial x, partial x. And this equals to from here, from here, right? Uh, to dg over dt minus dx over dt partial G, partial X. So I'm just gonna write it down, DG over DT from the differential expression minus DX over DT, partial G, partial X. And so this equation is gonna give me partial F over partial X plus DX DT, partial g partial x equals to dg over dt. So this is the third equation I have. And now I have these three equations, okay? And uh, I want to combine them into a matrix, three by three matrix to um, uh, be able to solve it and find the characteristic uh, curves, okay? So uh, I want you to do it first yourself and then I'm gonna do it, okay? So the practice here, combine one, two, and three into a three by three matrix. Okay. And the way you should do it, uh, I'm just gonna give you a hint that, um, so let me just give you a hint what, how you should do it. Okay, 
So the way you should do it is um, I'm just gonna write uh, the terms that you need to do that. So you want to write it in this form. So this is uh, gonna be, let's say, um, your partial u partial x the second one the second unknown is partial g partial x and then the third one is partial f partial x okay so i want you to do this uh, take some time and find uh, find this matrix okay find combine these three and find this matrix but, um, using these three equations okay so you have these three equations and you want to find and combine them into a three by three matrix so I suggest you to pause this video and take your time and do this before I start doing it. Okay. Uh, you can pause the video and uh, do it yourself. Uh, so I assume you have done it. It's not that difficult. So we start with the second equation. So the second equation, we have partial u partial x uh, equals to g. So I'm just going to write it down here. So the first term is going to be 1. Second one is 0. Partial g partial x is 0. Third one is also 0. Partial f over partial x. And this equals to, so let me write it this way. I think it's better if I write it this way. So the second term, partial g, partial x, you don't see it, right? I write, uh, I write it in blue. Third term, I write it in red, which is partial f, partial x. You still don't see it in equation two. And this equals to uh, g, right? So I just write it here, g. So this is equation two. And then uh, the second one, I want to write uh, equation 3. So equation 3, um, you don't have partial u partial x. So I'm just going to write 0 here. And then the second one is uh, partial f, uh, partial g partial x. And what you have here is dx over dt as the coefficient. And then the third term is partial f partial x is just 1. And on the right-hand side, you have dg over dt. And then the last one, which is partial f partial x, uh, I'm going to write equation 1. So partial f partial x, the coefficient here is b minus a dx dt. Okay, so I'm going to write it down here. So it's going to be... B minus A DX DT, right? So this is for the uh, first equation, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I did something wrong here. Uh, so this is for this is for uh, partial f partial x. So this is going to be for the last one actually. So for the last one, I'm going to have b minus a dx over dt, right? So this for uh, the coefficient of partial f partial x, and then for the coefficient of uh, partial u partial x, this is the coefficient of that. This is the coefficient of partial u partial x so it is um, 
it is gonna be e minus dx over dt so this is for the first one e minus dx over dt and then the second one uh, which is partial g partial x is gonna be this one right so we have c minus uh, b dx over dt c minus uh, b dx over dt right if i'm right if i'm not wrong yes that is correct and then this equals to to the right hand side of this equation which is going to be r minus a df over dt minus b dg over dt minus d du over dt yes okay so this is the uh three by three matrix that I have uh, created. And I have, com uh, by combining uh, equation one, two, and three. And so to find, characteristic curves, we set the determinant of this matrix to zero, okay? So if this matrix is A, we just set the determinant of this uh, matrix to zero. And if we do that, what we are gonna get is this. So you can calculate the determinant of this matrix. It's gonna be dx dt. So you're gonna have this term, right? just for those who don't remember, but uh, these are the things you need to remember. So we are gonna uh, multiply these two terms and then uh, subtract this. So this is gonna be dx uh, over dt times b minus a dx over dt minus c minus b dx over dt times one right equals to zero okay so now i'm gonna uh, write this factor out and rearrange the terms so the first term I have is a dx over dt square. Just rearrange the terms. Minus 2b dx over dt plus c equals to 0. Okay. So I have a quadratic equation and the solution for this is simple so dx over dt is gonna be b plus or minus square root of b square minus ac over a okay so this is the solution for these characteristics so these are going to be the, the general form of characteristics for uh, this form of equation okay for this form of equation which is a general form of uh, uh, ODE of PDEs right we are gonna have these characteristics so these are going to be the characteristics for that and this is very important formula because we will use this formula to uh, define the type of PDEs, okay? So the types that we discussed before. So here I'm going to just mention it very briefly, but then after that we are going to go more into detail 
that how these characteristics define different types of PDEs, second order linear PDEs. So a PDE is called hyperbolic if b square minus ac is greater than zero and this means that we are going to have two real characteristics right we will call we call a pde parabolic if b square minus ac equals to zero and this means that we are going to have one only one real characteristics okay and we call a pde elliptic if b square minus ac is small less than zero and this means we have zero real characteristics and we will have two imaginary characteristics right right because this is negative and uh, whatever is inside um, a negative number if you take the square root of that you will get an imaginary number okay so this is actually the definition of uh, these pdes hyperbolic uh, parabolic and elliptic based on the characteristic curves right so this is how we define uh, and classify actually the second order uh, linear pdes okay so after this, I'm going to uh, go and talk about uh, more detail of uh, these uh, type of uh, PDEs and uh, specifically uh, show those canonical PDEs that, that we discussed and show these, uh, their characteristics, right? The characteristic uh, lines of those canonical PDEs.